Hello all. I am very displeased with all of you. Just kidding. I hope everyone is doing well tonight. It is technically one o'clock almost in the morning. Milo is here. Look at him. He's so cute. I love him. He is. I have to take care of that laundry on my bed. I will do it later tonight. I wanted to wish everyone a wonderful good night. Um, I'm going to be vlogging. I'm going to try... Oop, someone messaged me. I'm going to try to keep it relatively not like 20 years long. When I learn editing, I can edit things out, but I haven't acquired that knowledge in my branch of learning yet. But I hope everyone understands that I love you, all of you. Even if you're not family or friends, I love you. I love Milo most of all. He's a good boy. Anyway, but I am trying out vlogging and I hope everyone who's involved stays well, stays safe, takes care of themselves, knows, knows, noses are noses. No, I hope they know that sometimes our stress comes from being too harsh on ourselves. So just, I guess, treat yourself as you would treat someone you deeply care about, but not obsess or become like narcissistic, but just be aware of when you're like feeling down or, hold on, I'm going to put you down. There you go, baby. But when you're feeling like you've messed up or you're feeling conflicted with either you've done something wrong or you feel did something wrong or did somebody dirty or something like that just those negative thoughts are just overthinking sometimes so just breathe you know take a deep breath wait a few seconds and let it out do it as slowly as possible you should calm down and think of something nice something you enjoy like candy or a park or someone you care about a lot or something just something that keeps you grounded I guess is the best way to put it just and make sure your feet are on the floor and just kind of pretend like you're in space and you just don't want to fly off into the universe and die like that just don't think of that just think just stay grounded stay you're on this planet right now it's not great but it'll get better it's not going to be like flying to your lap though. Life is very harsh, so you have to you have to really work at it. And it's not that you're not working on it right now. It takes time for everyone differently at different levels. It doesn't mean you're dumb or different or weird. You are different, but it's a good thing. And my little stay. You've been clingy all day. Stay. Thank you. I'm trying to do a video, baby. I love you. I know they want to see you more than me. I know. But I have to deprive my viewers of that. Because I don't want money. I'm not here to monetize. I just want to vlog. But when you're grounded, just make sure you remind yourself that you need to take it easy on yourself too. You shouldn't be lashing out at yourself for something you felt you've done wrong. It depends on the severity and the type of crime you've committed. But I'm just saying crime is a joke. I don't think you've committed crime. Did you? You can tell me. I won't go to the cops. I'm not a snitch. Snitches get stitches. But when you remind yourself of all the bad things, just go easy on yourself. Just be like, I made mistakes. And as long as you learn from them, and you try to be a better person, and just be understanding and open-minded and empathetic towards others, you'll realize that you've been putting on a huge more ton of stress than you needed and not necessarily are you a villain or someone who's useless or worthless or hopeless or helpless you realize that you're human you never felt human nobody's really treated you like that and then anyone who did you deny and feel bad for so many things but you don't have to you can take one day at a time and just be like, I want to find me and be a better me. I want to do that for myself and for others. Because 
the reason I wanted to get into vlogging was to kind of reach a better, broader audience to make sure I spread the message of, of Miloism. That is my religion. I believe in worshipping my cat. Um, and I believe that that is not crazy. I think my religion is the best religion. I'm just kidding. I, I, I don't believe in anything. Probably. I don't know. My beliefs have shifted after. But this is not a religious video. I'm just I'm just joking. But I think people should care about themselves more and worship my cat. That's all. He is a very good cat. Like, if you saw him, you would immediately fall in love with him. I think he was... You couldn't really see him over here, but... I think you'd really like to be in my cult. I mean, religion. I mean... You, I mean, whatever you want to call it. You, you, you don't have to. Again, joking. Don't join cults, kids. They, that's bad. Don't do that. They will use you for your money and hurt you. And torture you. And it's not all cults, but most, if not all. I don't know. I've never been in a cult. Wanted to, but I don't want one anymore. But treat yourself better, tangents aside, and just understand that you're learning. But sometimes harsh lessons come, and getting good things is earned. And sometimes it's not earned. Life is very unfair. But don't let it get you down, because eventually you'll find something like a hobby, which I'm doing right now, that gives you a sense of purpose and some responsibility is healthy. Sometimes we mess up. We should own it up and not do that anymore or try not to. There will be relapses. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fall down a lot of times, but you have to get back on that horse. That horse will eventually stomp, in, stomp you to death, but for now, because everybody dies. It sucks. It's a selfish desire to keep everyone to ourselves forever. And we don't want to live forever. When it's our time, that's a relief from all the stress and everything. It's not a good temporary solution, though. Because what if you had paradise this whole time and you just didn't give up? Or maybe you don't care about that. And I've been there. Find something in this life that gives you purpose. And that's usually what helps people. Most people. Some don't do it, and they live miserable lives, and then suddenly they're not around anymore, and people who wanted to reach out are hurt, and even if it's not that, people are traumatized by that. Nobody wants to find a dead body. Nobody. Oh, well, some people do, but we don't think about them that much. You shouldn't. Mm. Morgues are very expensive. Traps with the coffins and such, we don't like to think about them. I'm kidding. If you want to send me, like, a casket... Uh, I'll I'll sleep in it. I'm just kidding. I don't want to sleep in a coffin. That sounds really claustrophobic. But I'm not claustrophobic, but that just seems like something will force it on you, you know? That's weird. Unless you kept it open, but then that's the point. You just, I don't know. It's a different race car bed, I guess, kind of thing for some people. I don't know. Who knows? Remember the race car beds? Yeah. But anyway, if this video is getting too long, I was trying to make it not long, but I'm rambling. But I think what you should do is just find some kind of purpose, something that gives you meaning. Nobody's born with purpose. You're not you're not here because God wants you to be here. You're here because you survived and you're strong and you have people who care about you, even if you don't see them like that. There are people out there who do care and people who'd be traumatized if you died. No matter what happens, people will suffer. But make them suffer less by making a better effort at being happy. Because they want you to be happy. They get frustrated when you're not happy. And that's not more pressure. You should be applying no pressure on that. But you should care about yourself more. You matter. And I mean that. I matter too. I matter most because I have a cat named Milo. And he is the best in the universe. And we should all worship him. This is not a cult.